What's up, kids and cats? This is the Blues Bastard. Welcome to the new Signature Lick series on this channel. Today, with Joe Bonamassa live at the Royal Albert Hall, taken from the song Slow Gin. I hope you like it. If you like it, please gently hit the like button right down below there for the video and uh, subscribe to the channel for any further videos that I'm putting up on the channel. So, in this Signature Lick series, you will always see the live video played originally and then I'll break the lick down for you and show it to you note by note so you can learn it properly. For this specific Signature Lick series, I also produced a jam track that you can, you know, use for practicing, jamming along. It's a really cool song. Slow Gin is such a really great chord progression. It's a lot of fun to play along with it. So check the link right up here for the, uh, you know, for the jam track and uh, have fun with it. So let's jump right into the licks and here we go with lick number one. Okay, you've seen Joe Bonamassa playing the lick, and uh, you saw uh, me also playing along with it. And here we go with the lick details. Let's just, you know, break it down in pieces. We start off with the uh, A note on the second fret of the G string. Then we grab the D on the uh, second, f uh, third fret of the B string. Sorry. This is the first move, and what? Uh, Joe does afterwards, he's actually sliding up and grabbing the E here on the 5th fret of the E string with the ring finger. And then once you have it without even, uh, you know, like um, picking the string again, to bend it up to the F. And then you grab the G with your index finger on the 3rd fret of the G string. So all until here. And once you have this, it's really simple. Release the band here from E uh, from F to E. It's just like a repeating pattern. By the way, we're all in D minor here. Slow gin. This is a, in D minor, the, the key is in D minor, yeah? Okay, let's just repeat the last time the first lick. All right, let's look at lick number two. Okay, this one is a really, really typical signature Bonamassa lick. He's playing it in the 13th position. Uh, you know, put your first finger on the 13th fret of the E string and your ring finger on the 15th fret of the high E string. And what he's doing is he's bending and uh, he's bending a whole step. And then in that bend, he adds another half step bend and then releases the bend back to the whole step and picks it again. Sounds like this. This one is really, really important that you are intonating properly, that you have the bends in tune. The first one. Then once you release the bend, grab the F here on the 13th fret. And then the D on the uh, 15th fret of the B string. So once again... The end of this lick is now actually very easy. You go into the 10th position. You grab the uh, D here on the first string, uh, string on the 10th uh, fret. Then you grab the 10th uh, fret of the B string. And then you bend up the uh, the C here to a D and give it a, a vibrato. So the whole thing. Yeah. 
So we're already at lick number three. Let's look at it, how Joe Bonamassa plays it. As you can see already, I like a little bit of speeding up here, the tempo, also a typical lick that he plays. It's all played in the 10th position, uh, you know, like basic first box pentatonic, minor pentatonic, in this case D minor pentatonic. And um, it actually starts off from the end of the lick that we played in the second lick. And uh, this is also the beginning of this lick, so it's like... <laughs> And then 13 band. And then what he's doing is like. This run is very simple. It's like 10. And you go to the C here, uh, 13. 10. Then you go to 12. Simply like going backwards, the pentatonic set. Then you go back up. Until you reach the F here, so the whole thing slowly. So once you're here, then what he is doing is very often he uses the ninth. So you actually bend the E up to the F here, half tone bend, half step bend. So once you have this half step bend here, you go back to the D, you go to the C. Then you bend back up again, the E to the F. You go back to the D to the C. You bend the C up to a D. Grab the uh, F with your pinky, and then uh, you know while doing the bend, this is the end of the lick. So the whole thing, slowly. Let's look at lick number four. So this is a really typical Joe Bonamassa signature lick with a pedal tone. And, uh, you know, it starts off at the 10th position, 10th fret of the E string, and then you grab from there. Just bar your index finger. Then you go with your, uh, with your ring finger to the 12th fret E on the high E string. So the whole first move is like D, A, E, A, S. And then you shift position. Once you shift position, it's just like two bands here on this high G. Then let the band reband pull off to the F and grab the D. So the whole thing. And finally, let's look at lick number five.
so the last lick is a real typical Joe Bonamassa signature lick as well as you could see like he is already playing very up high here in the 15th position we have a pentatonic uh, uh, run let's say this is like a pentatonic scale starting from the 17th fret of the G string going to the 15th of the B 18 of the B string and then here G 15th of the E string and then finally the A so the start of the last lick is and then once you have this he actually makes a legato lick that repeats three times it's just hammering on from here 17 to 18 pulling off to 17 pulling off to 15 hammering back on to 17 so this is uh, looks like this. This is just like repeated three times. After this, he is actually going to grab this note up here from on the twentieth fret of the E string. So the whole thing. And once you have this, then you slide down, slide down with your uh, finger that you had played your note here on the 17th to a 50 grab the F on the E string and then bend the F up to an A uh, sorry bend the F uh, the G bend the G up to an A and then grab the uh, grab the 16th fret with your pinky to like, make this uh, a half tone higher the, the, the bend I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, signature lick series and uh, you know I'm coming up with some uh, other cool guitar players and trying to do the same thing here so if you liked it please subscribe and uh, hit the like button and uh, yeah see you next time bye bye